Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Tony Kempola is Professor Emeritus of Sociology at Eastern University and a former faculty member at the University of Pennsylvania. For 40 years he led the Evangelical Association for the Promotion of Education, an organisation which he founded to create and support programs serving needy communities. More recently, Dr. Kempola has provided leadership for the progressive Christian movement Red Letter Christians, as well as for the Kempola Centre for Ministry, a program which provides support to those the church has called into full-time ministry. He's written more than 35 books and can be found blogging regularly at tonykempolo.org and redletterchristians.org. Tony and his wife Peggy live near Philadelphia and have two children and four grandchildren. The reality is that we are people who are daring to say something and this is what we're saying, that love will accomplish what power never will accomplish. In the end, love is triumphant, not power. And it says in scripture, in the end, he will subdue all powers, all principalities and powers will become subject to him. He will suppress all power and it will all be love in the end. This incredible, unthinkable reality that Nietzsche says, I don't believe. I don't believe that love can change the world. I, don't, I, I think the only way to change the world is through power. And indeed, the church in America has come to the point where it's believing that we can change the country if we just have enough power. We can change the world if we just have enough power. And you feel like saying, why didn't Jesus think of that? They were always pleading for him to use his power. If you're the son of God, come down from the cross. Use your power. When, they're, when they come to arrest him, Peter draws a sword and says, let's get on with it. Come on, Jesus. Let's beat these suckers down once and for all. I love the old song. We don't hear it here in Australia. It went like this in the United States. Go ahead. Put the, put the spear in my side. Go ahead. Put the nails in my hand. Go ahead. Put the thorns on my brow. But I'll rise again. I'll rise again. Because there is no power on earth can keep me down. The civil rights movement in the United States had its high peak of success with a march of people who left the city of Selma and marched to the capital of the state, Montgomery. And they came to a bridge, undoubtedly on this side of the, of the Great Ditch. You've seen that film clip of the people coming to the bridge. And Sheriff Clark and all of his policemen and National Guards people behind him with their guns and their vicious dogs. And Sheriff Clark yells, turn back. And the response is, we've come too far to turn back now. I'm counting to 10, and if you don't turn back, we're going to attack you. And he counted from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And they charged these people with clubs and vicious dogs and fire hoses. And you watch these people being beaten down and knocked all over the bridge. And I was teaching at the University of Pennsylvania at that time and watched that scene on television in the student union building. And the students were there aghast at what was happening. And, then, and they were going, oh, oh. And a friend of mine who is a Christian said, we just won. The civil rights movement has just won. You say, how do you figure you won? They're getting beaten. They're getting clobbered. They're getting crucified. You're right. But we Christians, we have a nasty habit of rising again. For there is no power on earth that can keep love down. Amen? I mean, this is radical stuff, I realize. And it's questioning. And the question you raised, I can't answer. You know, I don't understand how God operates. I really don't. I do know that there's an inverse relationship between love and power. 
And I do pray for miracles. I, uh, I have a friend of mine who was a great friend of Rabbi Heschel, the great Talmudic scholar. And he asked Rabbi Heschel, do you believe in miracles? And here's a profound statement. And Heschel said, no, but I've learned to depend on them. <laughs> Isn't that the way we all are? Somehow, we pray and long for the miracle in prayer. We pray and long for the miracle in prayer. Now, here's the good news. Anything that is lost here shall be overcome. Uh, I mean, this world is not the end. Death is not the final word. There is a rising up. The Global Church Project is located at www.theglobalchurchproject.com. On our website, you'll find a wide range of interviews and resources for colleges, universities, and churches. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.